Let's find the equation associated with the graph of this trig function. So we can see by the shape that this is secant or cosecant. Now to get the simplest formula, we would rather not include any horizontal shifting. And so based on the location of the vertical asymptotes, the first vertical asymptote starting at the y-axis, we can see this is an unshifted cosecant. Now the, the period, which contains three total vertical asymptotes, we can see is 2 pi. And the period of, of just standard cosecant is also 2 pi. So there's been no stretching or shrinking about the x-axis. So we've got just cosecant x. Now we see there's been no flipping either. Now for vertical stretching with secant cosecant, we can just check these maximum and minimum values. Now for standard cosecant, this would be at positive one and this would be at negative one. But what's causing that it, we can see is not a vertical stretch or shrink. It, it's a vertical shift down by two. So here's the equation of this cosecant function. 